Decision making is an important aspect that you need to learn in order to be a good player. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys some decisions that I made against two fans in a solo match that were targeting me. Also, keep in mind that not all the choices and answers that I showed will always work and it always depends on a situation that you're in. In this first match clip, I had a wooden axe and I noticed that my neighbor's bed was open. As I approached the bed, I noticed that my neighbor probably has armor. Now, should I try to break his bed or should I gear up? If he picked to break his bed, then you are correct. The sooner I can break my neighbor's bed, the higher chance I have of winning. Even though he was still able to kill me, that same guy came over to my base, but he wasn't thinking properly, and I was easily able to hit him into the void. I was at the middle, trying to deal some damage to other players fighting, but then I noticed that a player in leather armor was making his way over to the middle. Should I fight him with my sword, or deal damage with my tactical crossbow? If you pick to deal damage with a tactical crossbow, then you're correct because after getting two hits on him, I had to hit him once with my sword and I easily killed him. Over here, I decided to check the chat and I noticed that a fan was asking me for a screeny the whole time. And I had no idea, but then the other player was also a fan and wanted one, so I let them take a screenshot. But then the dude asked me if he can break my bed. And I said that he can because I didn't want to win the match unfairly. I was making my way to the middle and I noticed that one of the players were crossing the bridge to get to the middle. Should I quickly get emeralds or take a shot at him first? If you pick to take a shot at him first, then you're correct because when you have an opportunity like this to easily kill a player, it's best to always take it. You will be saving more emeralds for yourself and putting them at a disadvantage. Those same players who found out that I was the real crystals decided that they should both target me. Because they are literally next to each other, but they want to shoot at me instead. So I quickly got into a base to restock on balloons, but now, should I fight the guy above me or should I run for my life? If you pick to run for your life, then you're right. That's because if you're getting targeted like I am, even if you kill the dude above you, another player is gonna come and kill you because of how low you got from your last fight. Now, unfortunately, I got knocked down and I was forced to use balloons. But remember, if I never got balloons earlier, I would probably be dead right now. Anyways, these players wanted to kill me so badly that they were literally both shooting at me while I was floating back up. And I was doing my best to dodge their shots. Now, should I float back to the base next to me or should I take the risk and float to the middle instead? I know that this choice was risky, but if you chose to float to the middle, then you are correct. That's because first, I needed to restock on emeralds to have a chance to beat these guys. And second, well, even though I got hit once, I managed to reach a difficult angle for my opponents to hit me at. I was at the middle collecting some emeralds, and I started getting chased by one of those players. I ran to my base to try to purchase some balloons, but it seemed risky to do that since he can get some hits off me. So I quickly switched and fought him. Should I keep fighting him, or should I get out and get high ground? If you pick to get high ground, then it was a good choice. Now, you can keep fighting him, but it's still risky, so getting high ground is a better choice. I built up and hit him with my crossbow, then I dropped down and finished him off. Right after I killed that guy, I was approached by the other guy, and I had to take cover behind the diamond block and try to get some hits. I dealed some pretty good damage. Should I wait for him to leave the base, or should I attack him now? If you pick to attack him now, then it was a good choice because his way out was blocked and he tried to escape, but I easily hit him off the map. While I was gearing up at a base, a guy surprised attacked me with the bow and went in the base and we started fighting. Should I keep fighting him or run and shoot with the bow? If you picked to run and shoot with a bow, then that was a good choice because even though I could have killed him, the other dude would have attacked me afterwards and I would probably stand no chance. I was fighting a guy at my base, but he was running around and getting tactical crossbow shots on me. I am now at 40 HP. Should I try to kill him or stay away? If you picked to try to kill him, then it was a better choice because I knew that he was low and that he would be one hit with my bow. And I didn't notice that the other guy was watching us, so I was safe from him. Then I realized that the guy's bed was right over here, so I took my chance and broke it, causing him to run away. I was crossing the bridge, and then I got hit off the map and forced to use my balloons. The guy was trying to hit me while I was on my balloons, but... I got a few hits on him with my crossbow until he was able to hit me. Should I deploy a balloon and float to the nearest base, or should I wait till I get under him, then deploy a balloon?
if you pick to get under him first, then it was a good choice because first, it would be harder for him to hit me again. And second, I wanted mid control anyways, and the dude ended up running away. I went in my base to get an enchantment table, but before I enchanted, I was ambushed by a guy who had the same loot as me. Should I fight him at my base or go out and build for high ground? Then fight him. If you pick to build for high ground, then it was a good choice, and that's because fighting someone with the same loot as you is basically a 50-50 fight. And that's risky to take, so it's better to give yourself an advantage like high ground. The guy ended up running, and he messed up and fell into the void. I then went inside my base to restock on balloons and get an enchantment, and to my luck, I got static 3. I was floating up, and I found the iron armor guy. Should I keep floating and shoot my crossbow, or drop down on him and fight? If you pick to keep floating and shoot the crossbow, then it was a better choice because I deal a lot of damage, so he will try to run away. But as I float up, it's harder for him to dodge my crossbow shots, allowing me to easily kill him. First last guy, I threw a fireball at his base, causing him to run out and fight me. I was taking a lot of damage, and he ended up deploying balloons and floating up. Unfortunately, I couldn't hit any shots on him, and I decided to run to the other base for a better angle. As I made it to the other base, he got a few shots on me, but the damage wasn't too bad, and I was easily able to recover. Now, I took one shot at him and dealt some good damage. The guy knew that if he stays in the air, I'll probably keep hitting him, so he took his chance and pearl to me. We had a quick fight, and he got low, so he dropped down with balloons. Should I follow him with balloons and throw snowballs or wait for him to float back up and then try to kill him. If you pick to follow him with the balloons and throw snowballs, then you picked a good choice because he wasn't expecting it and all he wanted to do was heal and go back up. So putting this pressure on him allowed me to easily win the match. Keep in mind that in some situations it's dangerous to do this because he may also have snowballs, but he seemed to not be using them. So I took my chance and dropped down behind him, allowing for an easy kill. These guys were targeting me like crazy that match because they knew who I was. But they put up a good fight nonetheless, and some of the most valuable decisions that I believe caused me to win the game is first when I decided to run back in my base to restock on balloons, then escape when I was stuck between these players. This was a good choice I made because if I stayed there, I probably would have died. And if I never bought balloons, then when I got knocked down, instead of floating back up, I would have just fell in the void. And another really good decision that I made was when I got hit off the map and I floated under the guy who was shooting at me because that allowed me to get emeralds, which I would need when I got an enchantment table. Those six emeralds allowed me to get static three and extra balloons. The static three allowed me to easily kill this guy and allowed me to kill the guy in diamond armor and those extra balloons that i bought made the decision of dropping down and throwing snowballs a possibility which ultimately led to winning the match if you like these videos then consider liking and subscribing and comment how many you got right and yeah have a good day or night if you enjoy this analysis video and you have not watched the first one then consider clicking on it right over here 